up, y'all? Today, I'm going to go over how you polish the feed lips on your Ruger 1022 magazines. Let's check it out. So here I have the steel feed lips out of the magazine in a vise. And you can see how the feed ramp area is not quite as smooth as it should be to get the bullet to just glide across it nice and smooth into the chamber. So today we are going to go ahead and fix that. Perfect. So what we'll go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and disassemble the magazine. You're going to go ahead and loosen up this screw here. Now when you do this, be very careful because there is a spring inside. So what you want to do is you want to hold this in and back this screw off. Okay, once that screw is backed all the way off, you go ahead and remove this plate. Be very careful because it may spring on you. Just like that. And what you want to do is let that spring tension kind of uncoil itself. Just like that. Okay. Feed lifts will fall out. And what you want to do is you want to leave these attached the way they are. Okay. Don't pull this apart because it's a real pain to get that spring to stay back in uh, the little uh, hole in the nut. So what we're gonna do is take our feed lips, we're gonna clamp it in a vise here. Don't clamp it real hard, you just wanna hold it snug. Go ahead and take our Dremel. Swap out the polishing pad. And I'm just gonna run a little wire brush over this just to give it a quick kind of scuff clean up. Okay, that'll take any loose burrs or anything off that you might have. Then we'll go ahead and put the polishing pad on. This only takes a second. Okay. Tighten it up. And we'll go ahead and get some flits. Put a little bit of flits on that polishing pad there. I put a thick blob on there and then I just wipe it with my finger. Wipe it all around. Just like that. Okay, go ahead and turn it on. And you're going to go ahead and just polish right in here. And you want to make sure you get the left and right side. And just get, get that top real good, and then get down on that little uh, angle. And get it nice and, nice and clean. Clean it up real good. Okay. Quick and easy. at your feed ramp it is nice and shiny okay just blow it off don't have to get too wild with it um, you know what I'm gonna take a q-tip and just run the q-tip through because that's going to get any of the debris out of there just because you don't want to put it together dirty Get it nice and cleaned up. Okay. Real easy. And then, okay, get this out of the way. All done with that. Go ahead and take your 
magazine um, casing, I guess. Take a rag. I use a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it. Just wipe it out. Just get any kind of the powder or oil, anything out of there. Take your feed lips. And they're going to sit in here. Oh, flip it. Just like that. And then you're going to take this piece here. And you want this tab up here on the top. You want this tab. If you can see that. There you go. This guy here, you want that to go right up against your feed lips like that. And what you're going to do is get that situated. Take your screw. Get everybody kind of lined up. If I can get that screw in here. There we go. Take your feed lips, put that in its spot, put that back in. Okay, got our screw in. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to spin it until it stops. Okay, now you see how you have your, your piece in there, the red piece? You're going to spin this a couple times. I like to go as tight as I can get it because that's what gives your magazine the tension. And once you get it there, it should go just a hair more. They are a little hard to do. There you go. Spin it like two or three times. Come back in here. Go ahead and tighten up your screw. Hard to do one-handed, but it can be done. There you go. Magazine tension's good. All right, so now that you got the magazine all back assembled, you can see in here um, where we polished up, and it's nice and smooth, and you are ready to go. This will help with feed issues. This will help with um, just getting it to glide in. It might even help you with a little bit of accuracy, too, because uh, the bullet will not get uh, scraped up or hung up, it'll, it'll stay uniform. Um, and it's not going to hang up. You're not going to have to smack it to get it to go forward or anything. Um, but yeah, quick, simple, easy fix for your Ruger 1022 mags. Thanks for watching.